After having a session of electrolysis, we should be following a aftercare routine to help heal your skin and to prevent any bacteria in the area, certain things that you need to avoid because uh, it can cause your skin to react badly. And there are certain things that you can do to help heal your skin and calm the skin down. Even though our skin is able to heal itself, some people's skin heals a lot slower and it just needs that helping hand. Straight after your session, the beauty therapist could apply one of three things to your skin straight away to help calm it. And it is recommended that you use one of these three things for the next three, four days. One of them is aloe vera. It's really soothing, calming, hydrating, and it's good at healing the skin as well. Another one is witch hazel gel. This also soothes the skin, but it's also an antiseptic. And then another thing that they might use is antiseptic cream. I've been to three different people for electrolysis to get it done myself, and they've always used aloe vera. The salon that I work at at the moment, we use aloe vera straight after the electrolysis session. But some people are allergic to aloe vera, so that's why they've got two other options that they can use. With the antiseptic cream, for some people, depending on what brand they use, it can feel a little bit too heavy. And then there are some people who find witch hazel a little bit too drying. It doesn't matter which one you use, it depends what works best for you. I personally use aloe vera, but the lady that I used to go to before, my skin reacted quite badly, so I used to opt for antiseptic cream. I found that this was a lot quicker at calming the redness and healing the skin, and I would do that once a day for four days after my session when my skin did react quite badly. When you are applying these products, do it with clean hands or you can just use cotton wool. The next 24 hours after your session is probably the most important. You're not allowed to touch the skin. These babies hold a lot of bacteria. If you keep touching the area, you can be prone to bacteria in the area and it can cause spots, pus filled spots. Don't put any makeup on the area for the next 24 hours unless it's Jane Iredale makeup. That's the only one that I say is allowed. I like using it straight after my session because it's got, especially the powder foundation, because it covers any slight redness that I've got and it's got SPF 20 inside. It's good to protect from the sun. Um, while we're on the subject of protecting from the sun, in the summer times, SPF is recommended to use after your session, but don't use something really thick and heavy and that's full of chemicals. It's better to use something that's light um, and that is more natural. Jane Iredell have a powder SPF. You can get the shade translucent if you don't want any color. Another one that I could recommend is the Environ Brad. That one's you only need a little bit, rub it in your hands and then pat it on the area. No sunbathing for the first 24 hours. Don't go into a sunbed within the first 24 hours. There has been a lot of heat in the area that you've had electrolysis done in. So no saunas, no steam rooms for the first 24 hours. Don't go swimming, um, nothing that will make you sweat. So no exercise. Even if you have a hot shower, try and avoid the area. Even if you avoid the area, let's just say you're shampooing your hair, that shampoo can go into the area. Any harsh soaps that you're using can go into the area you've had electrolysis done and it can cause problems. When I say problems, I mean a skin reaction where your skin's gonna go really red or spots. One last thing to remember is not to wear tight clothing in the area. I keep referring to like the chin area because that's where I get it done. But if you're if you had your underarms done for example, don't wear something that's really tight under your arm. Again that's gonna cause friction, sweat, heat, it's gonna irritate your skin. Wear something a lot looser. I recommend that you don't exfoliate for the next four days after your session. Again this is just because your skin hasn't fully healed yet. You don't want to go in with an exfoliator and irritate the skin. If you have formed any scabs after your session, I recommend that you don't exfoliate until all of the scabs have healed and fallen off naturally. Because if you by accident scrub any of these scabs off, you are going to be prone to scarring or pigmentation. If you have any questions or you're not sure about aftercare, I recommend that you simply ask the salon, ask your beauty therapist. Your beauty therapist might mention something that's slightly different. I recommend that you listen to them. They know what your skin looks like. They know your skin type. Just listen to whatever they recommend. I just wanted to mention the really important stuff. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.